Mm. Good morning, fellow campers. I am once again at uh, Lac de Bois. Uh, I'm, I'm not here to take photographs. I got a bit of a late start uh, yesterday, so I drove for two or three hours and ended up in Lac de Bois. I figured I'd spend the night here and then uh, continue on my way. Um, I'm on my way to uh, Banff National Park uh, for a week, but first I have to drive to Calgary, pick up a couple of people, and then uh, we start our photographic trip. Um, it should be really exciting. Our first stop is actually going to be um, a helicopter ride into an area called Mount Assiniboine Provincial Park. Now a lot of uh, nature photographers or outdoor photographers have probably heard of Mount Assiniboine or seen photographs of Mount Assiniboine. Uh, I've been in there several times now. This will be the first year that I've ever been um, this early so it should be interesting because we had a lot of snow this year. Uh, the bugs are starting to come out. Uh, hopefully the bugs won't be too bad in the Rockies, but I'm not sure. Sometimes they can be horrendous. Got one biting my ear right now. Yeah. So it's a bit of a drive. Gonna have my breakfast, have my tea, and uh, I guess I'll be on my way. Right. flight. Made it to Mount Assiniboine. There's the mountain behind me somewhere. What a gorgeous day. Just amazing. Uh, I was a little bit worried there was going to be a lot of snow here but it looks like most of it's melted so don't have to worry about post holing our way up uh, the nublet or anything like that. So we're just heading to the, the lodge now and uh, we'll find ourselves a room. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, fellow photographers. Oh, I think I'm having a bit of a hair, bad hair day. <laughs> Did a bit of a recce last night and hiked up to, um, up the hill to an area called the Niblet. And it gives you an expansive view of Mount Assiniboine and the surrounding lakes. I mean, it's just fantastic. So I'm gonna hopefully go there tonight um, but what we noticed while we were up there is that a lot of these lakes um, still have ice on them this is uh, cerulean lake with sunburst peak uh, behind me and then um, just beyond here there's another lake called sunburst lake and um, I mean that's the great thing about this time of year because uh, we had so much snow like I, I said earlier um, a lot of the lakes still have quite a bit of ice on them. Now, it was extremely hot uh, yesterday, so a lot of the ice is melting very fast, but uh, it makes a great foreground. And, uh, and all the ponds and all the little lakes surrounding the lodge and, and where you can get reflections of Mount Assiniboine are quite full, whereas in the fall, uh, or later in the summer, a lot of those ponds are all dried up and they, they don't look terribly great. Uh, now, all we're waiting for right now is a little bit of light. Uh, when I left the lodge this morning, uh, there was quite a bit of cloud to the to the east. So, and of course, down to the west, there's hardly any cloud. But uh, sunrise has already happened, and the peaks aren't lighting up yet. So, it might be another bit of a recce. And see, the thing is, I think it's going to be really hot again today, and uh, I think a lot of this ice is is going to melt for sure. So I'm going to set up on this lake here and uh, see if we can get a, re a reflection of some sort. It's just gorgeous here. So quiet and the birds are singing. Couldn't ask for better. Well, the, the light never quite happened. Uh, the clouds are beautiful, uh, but we didn't get any. There's a little bit of light hitting it now. So what I've decided to do is uh, I've been doing a little bit of time lapse and then uh, I got the drone out and 
tried to take some photographs and a little bit of video looking down on the ice and from the previews um, looking on my iPad it looks really cool uh, but as far as light hitting the peak I don't think it's going to happen today there's just too much cloud in the east so I'll just have to come back tomorrow <laughs>
just as long as your your highlights aren't blown out then you should be you should be fine i generally tend to underexpose a little bit and then uh, at least then you have some detail in the highlights and as far as shadows go if the shadows are quite dark you, you can always bring detail out of the shadows in photoshop so uh that's what i'm going to do here yeah looks pretty good just beautiful <laughs>